What's up guys, it is Jonathan here. So, if you're new here, please check us out on Facebook. Our group is called Healthy Living for Healthy Life. And also on Instagram at One Big Impact. But, I have kind of an interesting unboxing video today. And I will follow it up with a review at the end. And kind of just some more information on what I think about this item. So, it's actually going to be... A clothes washer which is funny because um, we actually have like the little machines here that in my apartments that you can plug in the different things and stuff like that but I'm getting freaking sick of it so um, it's costing me 10 bucks 15 bucks a week to be able to do clothes and you gotta wait for other people and blah 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 so this is the box I don't know if you can see it it's a massive box it's not massive massive but it's probably about three feet tall by 24 inches wide so I'm gonna open it real quick and what I want to do is kind of just run it through a cycle and see kind of exactly what I think if it sucks or if it doesn't suck and kind of give you a good idea but I really just did laundry yesterday, which is kind of funny, but I always have stuff I can wash. Let's see. Alright, the box. Not the best angle. I don't know what the hell this is. No clue. Alright, so. Sorry, my neighbors are outside doing some kind of festival or some shit. Oh, well that's cool. The box actually came off of the top. That's amazing. And here lies the unit. <laughs> now, I will show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. So kind of cool, right? It gives me vibes of a washer, just miniature, but not too miniature. I like it that it doesn't feel like, I know a few years back I was looking into them and stuff like that and they were like, yeah, we'll give you a tabletop one, blah, 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 blah. It is legit a washer. <laughs> it's like legit a little miniature washer. Check this out. Check it out. Look. Look in there. That's a real washer. Huh. Look at that. Uh, that's the entire thing. It's about 40, maybe 50 pounds. I don't know. Something like that. And then on the top, you got this little spigot. It does come with hoses, and it looks like the attachment to be able to attach it to the sink. Which is that kind of cool. That's kind of cool. You got a little screw. I would imagine that's probably important. And an owner's manual. This little guy looks like the thing that you attach. Okay, it goes flying. That you attach to your sink. So that's kind of cool. It comes with it. Don't lose that little washer. So you just take off your sink little nozzle and then screw this in as your nozzle and then you screw this into here like so and then this little hose the other end goes into here so that way I'm not going to screw that on until I'm sitting there while it's ready to go. But the rest of the video will be loading it and everything. It says the energy. I was curious, I was actually curious about the energy consumption of it because obviously I'm doing it to save money. But I think more so of the convenience of not having to go outside and not having to share stuff with other people and stuff like that. Just kind of annoying. I don't have to leave my own apartment if I'm like, oh, I want to do a shirt or an outfit for tomorrow or something like that. I don't have to do 
all my clothes at once. And I think the biggest convenience is I don't have to go to the freaking bank and beg for quarters and go to the store and beg for quarters. So estimated yearly cost is apparently three dollars per year which holy shit that's actually a really good deal i did not expect it to be that cheap less than three dollars it says less than three dollars per year huh. and um you got a drain line back here i just want to see if it's there and I think this is just like the best thing ever. The next thing um, I was curious about was if it had a cord that was a 110 outlet. You can see it is. So I'm going to plug into a regular outlet. And then you got the drain line here. I don't want to bring it all the way up, but it looks like it's pretty long. And it has a little hook on it. So... That's pretty cool, so it can like go over the sink or whatever. And the cord is probably about six feet long. That's kind of nice. Let's see how it works. Okay, so we got it all plugged in. Um, I wanted to make a quick video on the attachments though, the little attachments. And then you just put this right over the sink. Information really quick. This little attachment that goes on the sink, okay? may not fit yours so you may have to take this extra part out that's you take the little hose thing off right there or the little attachment off of your thing but you may have to take this out of the part that comes in and then it will show threads on the inside so just play around with it and there's a couple different ways that you can attach it but one of them worked and then this you just pull down and attach it like that and then the other end attaches on here the gray the gray line this gray line right here okay so we got clothes in there i didn't have enough i didn't have a lot i have like a little half load something like that uh i turned on both the hot and cold uh i got it plugged in over there i got this guy running straight to there and let's turn it on and then I'm going to do rapid because, to be honest, I hate waiting for clothes. And then I have not read any directions. We're going to push start. I definitely heard the water initiate. Let's see. Ah, definitely filling. Oh, okay. All right. Apparently don't leave the top open. It doesn't like that. So let's see. 19 minutes for a quick load. That's cool. Okay, so that was actually really quick. The first round, uh, the water was really dirty. And then it cleaned up on the second round, which is cool. So these, the spin cycle, everything was really nice. Honestly, I, th I think that's like the freshest my clothes have looked in a really long time. 